Claris TV speaking to uh, Chum City left back Edwino Vaz after the defeat here at Maidstone. Edwino, you're a young player. Was, uh, that was a, a tough game against the eventual champions. Yeah, yeah, it was a tough game to be fair. You know, first time playing in, um, in this amount of crowd, you know, um, but I thought in the first half we really dealt with it properly. But in the second half, I just felt like we got a little bit fatigued and plus their full time, I think they got the upper hand on that. Yeah, I feel like that's what happened. Just need to um, keep it going. Like, even in those last minutes, just keep giving it all. You know, I feel like we got a bit tired towards the end. And, yeah, that's where they got the advantage from. Yeah, we started really well, had the chance of Charlie, cleared off the line, and uh, a few sh other shots in the first half. And if we'd have gone 1-0 up, it, and they were maybe a bit nervy going for the title, it could have been a, could have changed the game. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, it's definitely um, when you get the first goal, you got the upper hand. So you work even harder to keep that advantage and to try to get another one and another one. But when you got one goal down, um, the head starts, starts to drop, you know, because of the man or the crowd that is here, you know, they will lift their teams up and it's harder for you to come back. It's, uh, it's, it's tough to be fair, it's tough. But we just need to do better. Just need to make sure we go get ready and get ready for Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, was it difficult in that second half when Mason had their tails up? They knew the other result was going for them as well, and they were they were a bit relentless in the second half, sort of between about 50 and 80 minutes. Yeah, to be fair, it was tough when they came back in the second half. Um, they saw that we started to get tired, and they really came at us. And to be fair, fair play to them, they were smart. Uh, whenever they want to foul, um, any set piece, they make sure they take they took their time because the game was with them to make sure they keep the advantage to drop the tempo of the game. And I felt like they done it well. All the, all the credits to them. Yeah, these are the times that we just need to be. There's not much we can do about it to be fair, but we just need to be smart on these occasions and just try to do better. Yeah, and you said about your first time in front of this sort of crowd. Remember last November, December, you were playing for the reserves at Earls Colne. I saw you play, and now you're here in front of three or four. Thousand at Maidstone. It's a bit of a, it's a whirlwind uh, few months here. Oh, um, hey. <laughs> to be fair, it's the best thing that can ever happen to a young player. You know, uh, working your way up, especially from the reserves. You know, I, I just kept my head down. I was at the reserves. My aim was always to get to the first team. So I just was at the reserves, working hard. And yeah, thank God that I'm here now. Just need to keep working. Need to keep working. Yeah, and when the crowd is around, the atmosphere is better. And yeah, just love playing when there's a lot of cards. Hopefully, hopefully uh, we get a couple of teams like that with a big, uh, big crowds uh, next season, and we go away there and we go get our points. That's what that matters. Okay, well done, Edwino, and uh, look forward to tracking your progress in the future. Appreciate it. Have a nice one.